Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Right now we're going to take a look at a trailer that is rather odd. In the early 1970s, you couldn't cast actors hotter than Barbra Streisand and Ryan O'Neill. But this trailer chooses to downplay these superstars in order to showcase the director, Peter Bogdanovich, hard at work on the set of What's Up Doc. What is that? Don't ask. And this is Ryan O'Neill. Do you remember him from Love Story? And uh, Place. Hayden Place and uh, oh, Games and The Big Bounce was one of his bigger hits. <laughs> also a wonder. Miss Barbara Streisand over here. You remember her from Funny Face? <laughs> uh, excuse me, Funny Girl. Streisand. She spells it without an A. Bogdanovich was really flying high in the early 70s, nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenplay for The Last Picture Show, a huge hit with Paper Moon, winning the Oscar for Tatum O'Neill, and this film, What's Up Doc? So incredibly well directed. It's a throwback to the screwball comedies of the 1930s, and Bogdanovich nails it, pitch perfect. Bogdanovich started out as an actor, but hit his stride as America's number one movie buff. He programmed films for the Museum of Modern Art, wrote critical essays, and spent a lot of time interviewing the old guard of Hollywood, made a great documentary about legendary director John Ford. Roger Corman gave Bogdanovich his big break, allowing him to direct a movie called Targets, a true modern horror film that is also a dissertation about the nature of horror, contrasting the scares of Boris Karloff with the terror of random mass shootings. What's Up Doc is sort of based on the classic Bringing Up Baby, and it's also sort of spun off from a cursed Hollywood project called A Glimpse of Tiger, but it was totally reinvented by Bogdanovich and his writers, the brilliant team of Robert Benton and David Newman, sharing credit with the great Buck Henry. The whole cast is amazing here. Streisand has never been sexier or more charming. She really is playing Bugs Bunny. She's firing on all cylinders. And O'Neill's comic timing is extraordinary. He's really an underrated actor. The supporting cast is one gift after another. Kenneth Mars, Austin Pendleton, John Hillerman, and the magnificent Madeline Kahn in her feature debut. She steals every scene that she's in. The relationship between star and director is no longer, as in the old days, one of master and slave. Here, mutual respect between the artist director and the artist stars make possible an exquisitely honed response. One of the things I love about the movie is that there is no score. The only music in the film is from the source, like elevator music in the elevator. And it's very interesting to see a film from this era and this caliber of filmmaker that is totally clean. This is an honest-to-goodness G-rated comedy. And it's really, really funny. It's actually my filmmaking partner, Scott Alexander's favorite film. He saw it often as a kid, and it made quite an impression. As you can tell from some of these clips, Bogdanovich had quite a, quite a large ego, and despite the fact he seemed to worship older filmmakers, he rubbed some of them the wrong way. There's a famous quote from Billy Wilder. It isn't true that Hollywood is a bitter place, divided by hatred, greed, and jealousy. All it takes to bring the community together is a flop by Peter Bogdanovich. And flop he did. After Paper Moon, Bogdanovich lost his way. The films were inferior, and the box office a disaster. This fall off the cliff coincided with the breakup with his lover and creative partner, production designer, Polly Platt, which led many to wonder how much influence she had during this golden period. Who knows what the real deal was, all I can see that the work here is masterful. The comedic chase through the hilly streets of San Francisco ranks with the best of silent film comedy. What's Up Doc is a movie to treasure.